Ah, I actually pop a cordon after test runs. Um, yeah, it's basically an introduction video as to what I'm doing on here. Um, my intention is that have um, stations around the place um, with like this is the ground station, so it will probably have a computer here. This will be behind walls. Um, do I have a screen to hands? No, I don't. Um, so the way it's going to be is you have a screen like this. You'll have that destinations on it. You come up, right click what you want, and then, up, then the computer controlling the screen will send a message to this computer over here, or this server, shall I say, um, which will then check its trains. Uh, first, it will do that by cycling through the signal receiver boxes. Um, if I can make it do it in order, uh, should work. I might just put them in. Uh, I don't know. S something. It will get data from these signal boxes, which are those ones linked to V signals. These ones linked to hit for um, switch motor purposes. So I will put probably put root and switch uh, switches on here, so that only the one called the train called one can come into this bay. One, two, into this bay, whatever. Um, See so yeah, it. That computer will go through. See what. See what bays it has a train in. Um, and say it has no train in bay one, but it has two and four here. Um, it will set the destination of two. Say it's set for kitten bag. Um, it will set the destination to city slash kitten bag because that's where it'll be routed to. Um, and then. Uh, it would send send a message back to the computer requesting um, the train that that message saying basically saying the train is on its way um, and uh, that the computer at the other end, for example, if it's this computer and it's um, requesting to go to spawn, maybe. Yeah, if if this one's like requesting to go to spawn, then say so, like it will come up right click here. This sends message to that server, that then sets destination of say one to uh, city ground station, which will make it pull out here, come into here and sit here for a bit. Um, then it wait there for about a few minutes before then getting sent off again. Although yeah, it comes in. Get its, gets its destination set to uh, like the say it wants to go to spawn, it will get city spawn um, set here, it will put it land on this track, wait here for about a few seconds, probably by a time it will then trigger it off or um, it will get triggered by a computer if another train needs to come out and go to another station and then it gets sent off along the long track that has a hole in it there um, Along here, um, they will have manual railcraft uh, anti crash into each other on these junks and things set up. Um, and if the destination is getting back, it'll go along here, pull into the station, wait here for a bit. Uh, oh no, it'll pull in, unload uh, using disembarking rails, unload passengers, continue round, um, uh, then get its destination. Um, set to, uh, I'll probably have it set back to like the shed or something, so if, and then it'll go along here, back along here, and then uh, these routing switches, um, and then route it back to there. Um, but in the event that, um, say a user here requests to go to spawn, the train will come from the station thing, come to here, it will probably go into here, wait here for a bit. Uh, this computer's not mine, so I probably might move that later. Wait here for a bit, then it will go off, go to spawn. But if in between um, this train coming out, because uh, I also have it so like this, the computer here will detect when trains come in and send a message back to the controller one. 
Um, so that it knows, okay, the train's got there, then well, it doesn't, doesn't have to worry about it randomly setting destinations again. Um, uh, if someone requests to go from like to from spawn, which is over that way, uh, to Kittenberg, um then the master controller it will send a message to master controller. Master controller's like, okay, I've already got a uh, train heading your way. Um, set your destination track to uh, or your looting track, which will be here, and then sets the destination is going out to here, and the train will come towards you, kind of thing. Um, so this train will then say go to spawn, it will leave here, go around, um, and instead of if it was had nowhere else to go, it would go back to the shed, it will go along here, get routed along here, um, routed down here, along here, and then come to here, disembarking rail, off, and then, okay, music finally stopped, um, goes around in there, and publicly unaccessible or anyone ac any accessible stuff. Um come along here, uh then probably stop here for a bit, let the user get on, and then it'll go off to a kitten bag. And same thing for uh, all other stations that if so go along here along here and then into here. If no one else requests it for quite a while, it'll go in round. Um along here back here, and then its destination will be set to a shared if it's not by default, and I'll go along here, um, through here, down here, and then um, slow down into ground, st ground station, come slow, go back to f uh, speed 3, come along here, and then go back into its bay, and then park. Um, these trains uh, I think there's a little, I'm not sure about them once they've got energy and they're sitting on the tracks. Uh, he's only seemed to have lost 2%. Um, but if, in the event, for whatever reason, they manage to land on, because I've got train boarding tracks uh, here, if I can't actually see them. Um, uh, yeah, look, well, uh, it's on train boarding mode. Um, Hello, dirt pillar. Um, yes, in in the event that uh, they do have no power, uh, as long as the track in front of it has power, then because three and four can't have no power, and I've set up a switchboard here. This is for those lumps down there. It's just manual control for now. I can still trigger it, and it will still give it a bit of a shove, and which is enough to get it onto. Um, these electric tracks, give it charge, and then it can go off. Um, it because where it gets set to speed three here, it gets set to speed four here. Um, as a long journey ahead, um, and I will make it at some point so that if there's a state, if there's a train here, then or like there's two parts of the station. You've got one stop there, one stop, or one waiting part here. Um, so if there's a train here, then this one will wait to go. Um, then this one goes off, that one comes in, waits here for a bit, waits till a train's gone around the corner, and then continues on. Um, but that's standard uh, aircraft stuff, which I can do. Um, doesn't really need computonics to do it. Um, but yeah, uh, this isn't the only feeder on this track. Uh, the intersection off going off to kitten bag, um had another feeder unit on it but it, the amount uh, the it's not much loss on the tracks but the gradual loss on the tracks uh means that these tracks here had no power so i had, I had a train because for some sometimes this would be like oh you you slightly going across it i'm just going to close it so i've now got it so that it emits on green and yellow uh that's not even attached to anything um Yes, and then it comes back again. Um, so even if a train's going away and it's or it's going to cross the track, then it should still work. Um, yeah, and it goes in and stops. And then this is red, so then it is closes. Um, if I will put switch motors in here, um, not switch, uh, region switch motors, and probably have a redstone vent on them as well. But for now, it's just doing this until I am 
get it set up so where multiple trains can be launched at the same time, whereas now it's just you just me clicking that button, that train goes. Um kind of thing. Um so yeah, that's it for now. Uh I'll post updates as I do them. Um yeah. Bye.